Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Lost Island. In the last video, we did a little bit of exploring over by the volcano and the wyvern trench. We found us a very, very nice level 150 basilisk. Dude, he's like all black with a little bit of red on him. Tried to tame him. <laughs> it didn't go over too well. But we're heading back over there today again. This time we're going to be doing the method that I've used in the past that works fairly well. Using a ravager, some zip lines, and a couple stone pillars. That way you kind of string it in between. And you got a way to run back and forth so he can't hit you. I mean, he can still hit you with his poison breath. You just got to avoid that. But then you can drop the eggs down out of your inventory and it lands, you know, right below him. So we're going to try that. Hopefully there's a couple Magmasaur eggs that have respawned. Sometimes they got a fast respawn time. Sometimes they don't. And I did look it up. You can use Magmasaur eggs. So that is a thing. They added that in a couple patches ago. So we need to equip ourselves with a couple things. I might leave him here just because of the gas balls again. I really want to take them, but I'll tell you what. Let's just do this. That way, he's somewhat safe. Let's grab us a crossbow. Our good one's almost broken. What's going on out here? Oh, poor little Dillo, man. <laughs> Dude's got some issues. All right, so let's make us stone pillars. And we want the tall ones, the large ones. It's five walls high, which is way too tall, but then we can kind of set our zip line wherever we want. We're missing some wood. Not a problem. We've got a ton in here in our little storage. And then I need to make sure I got some zip lines. I don't know where I put them at. Let's see if they're over here. I know I got some made up. Hopefully I don't need to make up some more. We don't. And I'll tell you what, let's take a sleeping bag with us. We'll set that out right by over there. Actually, we might. Yeah, we'll take a sleeping bag. I was going to say, maybe we'll take the canoe because it's a respawn point too. Oh, there's a zip lines there. But I kind of like leaving it here at base. All right, let's put this, put it down there for right now. Put you into there. Reload this, grab the Ravager, and that's kind of all that we need. I'm going to head over there, probably on the Rock Drake, just because he's immune to it, right? They don't really bother them. So that'll be a good backup in case something happens and goes wrong. Maybe I'll just leave him out over there, too, wherever we put the sleeping bag at. Then we can respawn and have him there. I think we've kind of got everything. We've got the Drake. We've got... How's our armor? Ah, that's not too bad. We'll wait and repair that afterwards. we got enough stuff on us for that. Of course, cool. so like I said, we need to grab us a couple of... The Magmasaur eggs. Probably two or three. Should be fine. Let's grab some food, too. And our water's good. Awesome, man. Nice. Well, I will see you on the other side by the volcano. It's a little bit of a flight. Not too bad. And, dude, it really sucks, man. I still can't believe I accidentally used our max level Poison Wyvern egg that we had. Totally forgot to keep it out. And <laughs> we made some kibble with it. I mean, it happens. It's not that big of a deal. We can always get more, but it still kind of sucks, you know. Check some of these drops along the way, too. You never know what you'll find, man. All right, so first thing we need to do is grab us some eggs. And I want to check to see if that other cave I heard of is over here. Like I said, I haven't seen it, but there's supposed to be two Magmasaur caves. Right here. Yeah, see, we haven't been to this one. We went to the one that was on the other side. This is supposed to be a very small one. Let's go ahead and go invisible, just in case there is no eggs. We need, like I said, at least two or three. I'm not sure how many it'll take. Oh, yeah, this is a totally different one. Nice, man. So there's two caves. Interesting. I wonder if there's another one. Oh, there's some eggs. I wonder if there's another one we just don't know about. Oh, that's it. It doesn't even wrap around, so we're going to have to grab those eggs and get out of here quick. Dude, they are so close to us, too. All right, buddy. You just hang tight here. Don't go anywhere. This is going to be a quick grab and go. All right, let's grab them. Oh, there's two. Oh, dude, there was two, two right there. One, like, instantly respawned. Oh, we're stuck up there. Yep, 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 okay. Yep, okay, we gotta work on this. Buddy, oh, man. 
Okay, well, we need to repair our armor anyways. We're in the lava. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> All right, well, that didn't go quite <laughs> as good as it could have. But we got two eggs. We'll stop by the other one, too. See if we can grab a third one. Let's get away from those magma sores, though. Just so we don't get hit. Tell you what, right over here should be good. Oh, dude. I need to get some better armor for going into the hot areas. I mean, we've got the... We've got the flak for the cold area, you know? Wait, what broke? Oh, just our feet. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and repair everything, though. Good thing we didn't repair it before we came over. That's kind of what I was hoping for. That if something went bad, we could just repair afterwards. Oh, yeah, and out of that drop, I got a berry saddle. So that's, uh, I mean, it's it's not that good. But it's better than a primitive one, you know? All right. Dude, that is awesome. We got two eggs out of that. Kind of weird. And let's throw... Let's throw you into there. Just so I don't accidentally throw him out, as well as that. All right. Go up here. We'll check and see. If there's not any more eggs, we're going to have to just do it with two... What levels were they? A 12 and a 20. And I also heard that the egg level doesn't matter on Taming Basilisk. I don't know if that's a thing. I always thought the higher level eggs did matter. But apparently it doesn't. I don't know, man. It's it's so much stuff. Oh wait, here's our entrance here. There's so much different stuff on the taming. I just kind of go with what I'm used to, but hopefully we can find one more in here. Dude, it is super dark, man. Ah right, man, you guys have had like a whole in-game day to get some more eggs ready for me. Yep, I know, I know. We're in the lava, buddy. None, huh? Why did they- Oh, I'm not cloaked up. I thought I was cloaked up. No eggs, though. Ah, oh, dude, that sucks. Well, I mean, there's a bunch of them in here, too, though, so that's kind of a- maybe a good thing? Alright, well, let's head out of here. <laughs> maybe jump in some water. Cool old dude off. And then our Basilisk is just around the corner. So what I want to do is find a nice spot that doesn't have any creatures. That way, he doesn't get kind of sidetracked, right, whenever we get aggro on him. And then I'll put our... Oh, there's a Magmasaur there. Yep. Let's leave him alone. Maybe we'll put the Magmasaur... Or the uh, Rock Drake down at this end. Should be up here on the beach if he's still here. Okay, there he is there. So he won't bother us here. Let's... Let's go down here to set up our sleeping bag and stuff. Actually, we need to set up our pillar and stuff first. Because he's going to come for us. I want to set up the pillars like right here. It's a nice spot on the beach. Let's go ahead and clear this guy out. Clear out a couple trees just so we don't have any issues. Kind of kind of makes me nervous that magma source down there. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Dude, it's quite the lumberjack, man. I'm just saying. All right, so... Pillar number one. That is a tall pillar, man. I'm just saying. So let's set you right there. And then the next one will set... Like right here. That should be... Oh, dude, that should be plenty far enough to run. We'll attach you... Let's go about right there. That should be fine. Right up there. Kind of nervous about setting out my line. Let's do it this way. I'm going to set one on the other side, too, just in case we need to jump off and pick the egg up. Sometimes I have to do that to get it to reset. We can go from either direction. We're going to kill him off. He's he's going to cause problems. I can see that now. That's it, man. That's our trap. We can jump from one to the other without any problems. Usually, if I can do it right. <laughs> but we should be able to jump in between. That's going to be down here. We'll drop the egg. Keep aggro on him. That's why I did it kind of low to the ground. You want to keep aggro because if he goes down in the ground, loses taming effectiveness. Hopefully... You are not a high level. Please don't get on fire. Cool. That was easy. All right, so our sleeping bag and stuff. Let's set it up right here. I know it's very, very close, but that's 
That's kind of my point. I want to respawn, jump on him if something goes bad, because I don't want anything to happen to our Ravager. All right, let's put everything in here we don't need. That way we can just open our inventory and drop it. We're good down here. All right, let's grab a little bit of water. A little bit of food. We should be good. Oh yeah, passive everybody. No fighting, you hear me? Double check everything, this should be good though. Ooh, I don't have the option to be able to jump up there. Interesting. I've never had that problem before. That's alright, we'll set it out to the side here. Yep, there we go. Nice. Then we can just run back and forth while he tries to nip at us. Tries to hit us with his... His, uh... Poison balls and stuff. Let's do one more of these just for getting up this way. Alright, man. We should be good. Hopefully. Let's get his attention. Yep, there we go. And he went for something else. Fantastic! Totally forgot to clear out this side. Buddy! Yep, come this way, man. Okay, he's on us. We just need to hit the zip line. Okay. Zip line number two. Let's drop an egg. Alright, so we just gotta keep aggro on him now. Run back and forth. Usually, it takes him longer to eat it if he's got aggro. Oh, wait, did he eat one? Oh, he did! Oh, 81%! Nice! So we might be able to actually do this with two. Yep. Oh, dude, that was not good there. Heal up. Get your back over here. That egg might be too far over. We'll give him a couple minutes. Let him run around. Maybe he'll get a little bit of uh, hunger worked up. I'm stuck. <gasps> I'm stuck! Oh, dude! Okay, tell you what. Yep. Just stay on me, buddy. Stay on me. We'll get a little distance. I'll run up there, grab the egg. We'll jump back on the zip line. Okay. Okay. Oh, dude! Did I get the egg? I got the egg. Okay. Oh, we're, we're stuck. Heal up. We're no good if we're dead. <laughs> I mean, usually, right? Drop you. Eat the egg, buddy. Oh, man, that, uh... We're gonna die. Please eat the egg. Yep. We get hit again. We're, we're, we're done for sure. Eat the egg, buddy. Eat the egg. I should have made the zip line longer. <gasps> should have made the zip line longer. Duck and weave, duck and weave. Don't go on the ground. Don't go on the ground. Grab the egg, man. Grab the egg. Watch out! Get off of the zip lines! Dude, I wish you would just eat that egg. It would like instantly tame him. Yep, okay. Heal up a little bit. We're just about full on our health. Well, we were just about full on our health. I might have to pick the egg up. Let's get him over here a little bit. We'll swing around. I need to stop stopping right in front of the uh, the gas ball. Dude, he hit me from way over there. Holy crap, dude. 
All right, buddy. Stay on me. Stay on me. Up on the zip line. Let's drop the egg here. Okay, okay. Zip line's not working. Okay, it's 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 done fantastic in the past. It's just not working now. We got a scorpion on us. Oh, don't hit the snake. I was gonna shoot the scorpion. Ravager's taking a good bit of damage as well. Dude, just grab the egg, man. Did I hit the... I think I hit a snake. Oh, I did! I hit the snake! Tell you what, this is what happened last time, man. I messed up and hit the snake. Oh, dude. Just eat the egg, man. You're starting to annoy me a little bit. I know you're hungry. Okay, come over this way. I'm gonna pick it up one more time. Dude, it was so easy on the first egg. He just like instantly grabbed it as soon as I dropped it. Dude, don't stop for that now, man! Heal up some. Let's throw this egg out. I know whenever he's got aggro, there's a less chance for him to grab the egg. <gasps> nice! Oh, we got him! Oh, dude! That was a pain, man. <laughs> Buddy, I'm sorry I smacked you when we were taming you. What's up, man? Yeah! Ah, oh, dude, he looks fantastic! Nice and black with the red. Oh, dude, I just, whenever I saw him, I was like, oh, we gotta tame him. We gotta tame him. So, take a look at his stats. So he tamed out to be a level 215. That's still not too bad, man. We're not using him for anything really major, so it's not that big of a deal. It's, uh, so you can't breed him, I don't think, can you? I don't know, we'll have to check and see. His health is 11,000. Stamina is almost 3,000. Carry weight, that's the main thing. 3,300, man. I think it gets that reduction in stone, if I remember right. Damage is 323 and 120. Movement speed. Let's put him back into here. We'll get back to base, make a saddle for him. I need to heal up the Ravager too. We'll leave all this here just in case it kind of worked out. I mean, <laughs> it definitely needs to be higher though. It, it, you know, five walls seems higher than, you know, what it is actually. It needs to be a couple more higher. Maybe another one on top. That way we can stay out of the bite range and stuff. And it needs to be longer. It probably needs to be from that first pillar down to about here. So we got enough room to run to avoid the gas ball. And then preferably wear a gas mask. Let's get rid of our sleeping bag. Or maybe... Eh, maybe we'll leave it, man. I should start putting beds all over the map. Seems how I die all the time. That way if something happens out here again, we'll be able to uh, get back to our stuff easier. I tell you what, while we're here, we didn't do this last time because so much went wrong. Let's swing by over here and see if there's anything on this island worth just uh, checking out while we're swinging by. I don't want to spend too much time over here. I really want to go get a saddle made and play with our new little snake a little bit. Kind of looks neat right here. It's the way that the little uh, little walls go up. Some allosaurs. That's never uh, <laughs> that's never a good sign, man. It's be kind of neat for building up here, though. Easy to wall off with those cliffs like that. I do want to put a couple little satellite bases out since we're gonna be living on this map for a while. So up here might be a good spot if that's the only only way up and down right there. Oh, it is. Dude, that's an awesome place. Nothing can really get up to you, right? Put in one big behemoth gate, you might be fine. Oh, you can get up right here, too. Maybe two gates. Still, though, nice area. Not too bad. Right by the volcano, too. Seems like we're doing a good bit of stuff right by the volcano. And then we have easy access to the water as well. Because we got those tech teleporters. We just need to... What was that? I don't know what that was. But all we gotta do is put out some of those little tech teleporters and it'll make life a lot easier. So there's some sheep up here. And dude, there's more May Wings, man. Like I said, we are taming some of those soon. What level are you? Level 50. 
Is that a cave or is that just a, not just a stone in a place? Hmm. Might be a good area to tame them because I think we need sheep to be able to tame those with, right? I think they're meat eaters. Let's go ahead and take out this raptor while we're over here just so he doesn't kill off anything. Where'd you go, buddy? Thought I saw one. There he is. Low level raptor. Nice, man. So we'll be able to come up here to get our May wings if we don't find the ones we want down below over by base, you know? So we do need two of them for breeding and stuff. Well, not breeding. I think they just lay eggs, isn't it? Something like that. Oh, there's some more crystal, too. Nice, nice. Always do for some more crystal. That's kind of it. I don't see too much. There might be a cave up here for an artifact. I'm not too sure. I mean, I can't imagine why there wouldn't be. And dude, oh man, you could put a nice cliff platform on this one right here. Up on top. Be nice and isolated away from everything. I don't know, man. It looks kind of neat up here. Again, a very, very nice view of the whole map, too. Or at least the mountain range, you know, from up here. All right, well, let's get back to base. Make us our, our saddle for our dude. We'll take him for a spin, see how he does. Play with him a little bit, and... I'll have to look up to see if we can do breeding. Like I said, I'm not too sure what gender our other one was. If they do have genders. I think they do, right? Because ours was a male. Yeah, it's a male. So I'll have to check and see what the other one is that we have. It's over on Genesis 2 right now. But I will see you back at base. Nice slow coast into base. Dude, you have no idea how happy I am that we actually got that thing. With only two eggs, too. Surprised we didn't see any more Magmasaur eggs, but I mean, if I wouldn't have uh, found out about that second cave, we definitely wouldn't have been able to tame that dude up, you know? So, I think it's in here. Basilisk, not a Basilosaur, please. Oh, we need green gems! I don't know... Where do we get green gems at? Have we found green gems on this map? I don't think we have. Give me a minute, let me check to see if there's a place where we can get those from. I don't know. I don't remember seeing those anywhere. Maybe in the desert? Alright, so I did some checking, and apparently the only place to get the green gems is in the Aberration Cave, which we haven't been to yet, so that kind of sucks. I need to look up to see where that's at. We need to take a trip over there. Well, I mean, mainly because it's the Aberration Cave. That's like... <laughs> that's like my favorite map, man. So we'll have to find that. That's where the green gems are. The blue gems we found in the one artifact cave I think it was the Artifact of the Cunning, which is right over there. So those aren't too hard to get. But, ah, uh, man, it kind of sucks. I was definitely wanting to take them for a spin today, but we'll have to save them for later. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Not too bad of a day, man. We got the Basilisk. We didn't die. Almost did quite a few times. Didn't lose any tames. So we'll, uh, we'll have to see about breeding them, too, and then getting those other gems for making a saddle. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.